Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about water pollution, its causes, its effects and the actions we can take to keep our water clean. Water pollution happens when harmful substances mix with our water. These substances can include chemicals, waste, germs and plastic. When water becomes polluted, it is not safe for people, animals or plants. Since water is essential for all life, polluted water can lead to serious problems in our communities and the environment. There are several reasons why water gets polluted. One of the main causes is industrial waste. Factories sometimes release waste into rivers or lakes without proper treatment. This waste often contains dangerous chemicals that can harm our health and damage nature. Another major cause is sewage. In many places, water from our homes, which contains waste and germs, is not treated properly before being released into the environment. This untreated water can lead to illnesses in people and wildlife. Agricultural activities also contribute to water pollution. Farmers use fertilizers and pesticides to help crops grow. However, when it rains, these chemicals can be washed away and enter nearby water sources. The chemicals can then harm aquatic life and upset the natural balance of the ecosystem. Oil spills are another source of water pollution. When oil leaks from ships or pipelines, it spreads over large areas of water. This oil can make water sticky and dangerous for fish and birds. Plastic waste adds to the problem as well. Plastic takes many years to break down and when it ends up in water bodies it can remain there for a very long time harming animals and plants. The effects of water pollution are wide-reaching. When people drink or use polluted water they risk getting sick from diseases like diarrhea and other infections. Polluted water also affects aquatic life. Fish, birds and other water creatures can become sick or even die if they live in contaminated water. This disruption can upset the food chain and lead to fewer fish and other animals in our rivers and seas. In addition, plants that depend on clean water to grow can also suffer, which in turn affects the entire ecosystem and our food supply. To keep our water clean, many actions can be taken. One important step is to treat wastewater properly. This means that factories and cities should clean their water by removing harmful chemicals and germs before it is released into the environment. Farmers can help by using fewer chemicals or by choosing natural alternatives that are less likely to pollute water. Recycling is another key action. When we recycle and reuse materials, especially plastic, we reduce the amount of waste that can end up in our water sources. Communities can also organize cleanup efforts to remove trash from rivers, lakes and beaches. By working together, we can make our local water sources safer. Education plays a crucial role in fighting water pollution. When people learn about how pollution happens and its harmful effects, they are more likely to take steps to protect our water. Schools, community groups and local governments can all work together to teach about water conservation and pollution prevention. Each small action, like properly disposing of waste or reducing the use of harmful chemicals, can lead to a big difference over time. Water is a precious resource that supports all life. By understanding the causes and effects of water pollution and taking practical steps to prevent it, we can protect our health and our environment. Together, we have the power to ensure that our water stays clean and safe for everyone now and in the future.